Good evening, I'm Holden Absher. Authorities are trying to determine the cause of a house explosion in Evansville that killed three people and hospitalized one. The blast leveled one house and damaged a total of 39 other buildings. Center Point responded and immediately surveyed the scene for natural gas. There were no instrument readings outside the home. The American Red Cross is assisting residents who were displaced. The local coroner's office has not yet released the names of the three victims. The funeral for U.S. Republican Representative Jackie Walorski took place this afternoon in northern Indiana. Walorski was 58 and a five-time representative. She was in an SUV with two members of her staff last Wednesday when it crossed the median of a northern Indiana highway for unknown reasons and collided with an oncoming vehicle. A special election to fill her seat is scheduled for November 8th. Hoosiers who install solar panels will now get fewer credits for the excess energy they deliver back to the grid, making solar less affordable. But the Federal Inflation Reduction Act would extend tax breaks for solar panels for about a decade and improve the business. It's 10 years. This is the most certainty we've had. So it's great. The bill also provides incentives for home energy efficiency improvements like heat pumps. Now for a quick look at the weather. Tonight mostly clear with a low of 58 degrees. Looking ahead at the five-day forecast, sunny with a high of 80 degrees tomorrow. Sun through next Tuesday with temperatures in the low 80s, a high of 81 on Saturday, 83 on Sunday, 81 on Monday, down to 79 next Tuesday. For more local news, go to WTIUNews.org and catch Indiana News Desk Fridays at 6. Have a good night.